What's going on? Welcome back to Canadian Dividend. So today I'm going to talk to you about my tax-free savings account, go over what I've been doing, what I plan on doing, and everything else you need to know. But first, make sure I hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So portfolio is at 102,000 and change, 7,300 in available cash. What I've been doing is kind of just dollar cost averaging for the most part. So you do see some transactions right here. So I bought roughly two shares of XUS. So that's the S&P 500 ETF. And so $85.65. So I'm starting to scale back in after my large sell off. So I did sell at around $89 and because I wasn't anticipating a pullback. So of course, might as well buy when it's cheap, even though on a year over year basis, it is still relatively high and I'm not getting in at the same level as I previously was only because I do still anticipate somewhat of a pullback a lot of companies unveiling their earnings are giving poor future guidance Facebook is one of them so I did buy this one only more of a swing trade rather than anything so the CDR five shares at 2477 but I also did buy one additional share of XUS today at $85.22 so that's one of the ones I definitely do want a very big chunk of my portfolio in. Just I'm trying to catch a good price, essentially, if that makes sense. I also did buy 10 shares of the CDR of Boeing at $28. And that has recovered like a champ today. So right now it is at $29.27. So it has done a very nice bounce. So I caught pretty much exactly the bottom, very, very bottom in fact. So I'm happy with that, but still I'm down 9.29%. So I think Boeing over time, it will do fairly well. Just short term, it's getting crapped on quite significantly in fact and there's bell that's just still doing what it does like i said i do want to liquidate bell once i am at a profit so obviously it'll have to go up sooner rather than later it has held the technical support like a champ so i think that's maybe a positive thing it's just waiting for some good justified reason to go up and maybe their earnings might be that next big catalyst and then of course i still do have a substantial amount in money markets so ticker cash and cmr so i'm one of the few percentile as you can kind of see right here just record numbers are in money markets markets only because people are anticipating for it to pull down and a lot of data is signaling that so once that does happen there'll be a pullback then this is where I'll kind of rotate out of that but until then I'm just gonna still swing trade some stuff where I feel like I can make an easy quick 10% or possibly more dependent on data points and technicals and whatever else. And then Tesla has been a champ. So Tesla is a very good example of what the market is truly looking for. And that is good future guidance. So Facebook gave poor future guidance. Tesla gave good future guidance and Tesla went up like a champ, like crazy. So I was down like almost 18%. So now I'm down only 4.62%. I did buy the Tesla stock itself under the American ticker under my RSP. And so I did buy that right before or right after the earnings because yeah, you can't go wrong with Tesla. So once this does kind of I'm at a profit with this and this is where I'll sell out of the CDR and buy the American one because anything that you do plan on holding long term you might as well own the physical stock itself rather than CDR I think CDR is fine if you're just going to be doing swing trade and kind of short term stuff but still um, let me know your thoughts on that aside from that I'm just monitoring the market the PCE does come out tomorrow Microsoft is unveiling the earnings pretty much in the next hour same goes for Google so any dips that does happen on a lot of those big tech names, I will be buying the dip accordingly and then just swing trade it. Of course, uh, dependent on their future guidance and whatnot. So let me know your thoughts. What have you been doing? What have you been buying or have you been selling? What's your viewpoint? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And with all that, appreciate all of you watching.